lesson, you'll be introduced to 25 elements which, because of their spelling and pronunciation, need no audionyms or associations to remember them. Their meanings are rather obvious, either by their spelling or by their frequent use in our everyday language. In addition to introducing these 25 familiar elements, we will demonstrate their use in complex medical terms by combining them with other elements you have learned in the course. We'll begin with the element artery. You might guess that artery means artery. Artery, artery. Here is the medical term arteriosclerosis. If you separate the elements of this term, you will recognize the element osis, which means condition, sclere, which means hard, and artery, which means artery. Arteriosclerosis, interpreted backwards, is a condition of hardening of the arteries. Appendic refers to the appendix. An appendectomy would be the surgical removal of the appendix. Thyro, thyroid. Here is the medical term parathyroid. You learned that para means beside. Since para is a prefix, you would interpret this term from left to right. Parathyroid means beside the thyroid. Splen refers to the spleen. In the medical term splenohepatomegaly, you should recognize the elements megal, which means enlarged, hepat, which means liver, and splen, which means spleen. Splenohepatomegaly, interpreted backwards, means enlargement of the liver and the spleen. It is also correct to say enlargement of the spleen and the liver. Ovario refers to ovary. The medical term ovariocentesis contains two elements. Ovario, which means ovary, and centesis, which means puncture. Ovariocentesis is a medical procedure which means puncture of the ovary. The element adreno refers to the adrenal gland. The medical term adrenalopathy, interpreted backwards, is any disease of the adrenal glands. Basie is an element that means base, the foundation, or part on which something rests. Basal means pertaining to or situated near a base. It also means fundamental. Pelvis simply refers to the pelvis, the hip bone area which supports the spinal column and rests on the leg bones. A pelviotomy would be translated as cutting into or cutting the pelvis. This is an operation of cutting the pelvis at any point to facilitate delivery during childbirth. The element vena means vein. The element urethra is used to denote the urethra, the canal through which urine is discharged from the bladder to the outside. In the medical term urethrostenosis, you can see three familiar elements. Osis, which means condition. Steno, which means narrowing. And now, urethra, which refers to that specific body part. Urethrostenosis, interpreted backwards, means a condition of narrowing of the urethra. Utero simply refers to the uterus. Sacro refers to the sacrum, the thick triangular bone near the base of the vertebral column. Pharynge refers to the pharynx, the first part of the digestive tube after the mouth. The medical term pharyngealgia has two elements, pharynge, which refers to the pharynx, and algia, which means pain. Pharyngealgia means pain in the pharynx. 
the next element is commonly pronounced two different ways. Duodeno and duodeno. In either case, it refers to the duodenum or the duodenum, whichever pronunciation may be used in your specific location. Ureter refers to the ureter, the tube that carries urine from the kidney to the bladder. The medical term ureterolithotomy is made up of three familiar elements. Otomy, which means cut into, lith, which means stone, and now ureter, which refers to the ureter. Ureterolithotomy means cutting into or incision into the ureter to remove a stone. Larynge refers to the larynx, that part of the digestive tube just below the pharynx. Larynge also refers to the throat in general. For example, the medical term laryngology means the study of the throat, or that part of medicine which has to do with the throat. Next, bronch refers to the bronchus, which is either of the two main tubes which carry air from the trachea, or windpipe, into the lungs. In other words, there is a right bronchus and a left bronchus. When referring to the right bronchus and left bronchus collectively, the plural is bronchi. The element col refers to the colon, the largest section of the large intestine. Esophag is another element that is easily identified by its pronunciation and spelling, referring to the esophagus, the tube which passes food from the pharynx to the stomach. By and try are very familiar elements which all of us use every day. In medical terminology, by means two, double, in pairs, or twice. Try means three, three times, every three, etc. Ile, I-L-E, refers to the ileum, the lowest part of the small intestine. The element ili, I-L-I, refers to the ilium, the flat uppermost portion of the three sections of the hip bone. Lig, as you might guess, refers to ligament. And last, therap refers to therapy, which is treatment of a physical or mental disorder by medical or physical means, usually excluding surgery. Let's review the 25 elements introduced in this lesson. Say the element and its meaning out loud as we review them together. Arter, artery, appendic, appendix, thyro, thyroid, splen, spleen, ovario, ovary. Adreno, adrenal gland, basi, base, pelvis, pelvis, vena, vein, urethra, urethra, utero, uterus, sacro, sacrum, pharynge, pharynx, duodeno, duodenum, ureter, ureter, laryngeal, larynx, bronch, bronchus, col, colon, esophag, esophagus, by, two, try, three, illy, ilium, illy, Ilium, lig, ligament, therap, therapy. While nearly all of these elements may be familiar to you, they can readily be combined with the other elements you have learned so that you dramatically expand your knowledge of the language of medicine. In your learning guide, 
you will have an opportunity to review both the meanings and the various uses of the elements taught in this lesson. This ends the instructional presentation for Lesson 12.